Hi guys, hope everyone is doing well. I am making this video for one of my subscribers who's reached out to me and you know who you are. And I think this video is going to be certainly difficult for me. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to say yet or what's going to come out of my mouth. Um, but it's going to be difficult for me to make and it's probably going to be difficult to listen to. But I need to speak to my subscriber and other people who may be feeling the same way as well. So I've had a subscriber reach out to me. She lives in Merseyside and they are going back into lockdown on Wednesday, full lockdown. So she lives in a flat with her with her kids and she's feeling frightened about going back into lockdown, uh, being alone and the pressures of that and just feeling totally lost and feeling as if if the kids weren't there you know it's gun to your head time that's that's where she's at um there's a lot of people who are feeling like this at the moment and the experiences of of this that i have is when i was 17 i tried to commit suicide and thank someone up there that that didn't happen because I'd have missed so much life I would have missed so much of my life I would have never had my daughter I would have missed that as well I'd have missed the opportunities to see my daughter and be with my, my daughter the reason I'm saying this is because especially now if you are a parent and I don't know what that can, what that must feel like at this time, yeah, to have small children. I can only imagine, and I can fully empathise with how that must feel. Because if for adults, you know, we don't see a future for ourselves, that's how we're feeling for our children as well. But what we have to know is, if you have children, and you are feeling like this is the end of the road for us you've got a different responsibility and it's difficult and it's really hard but your children are looking at you so I'm actually shaking um, the situation that's going on now we don't feel like we have any um, control over it. But when you're a parent, they're looking at you for their control and their, their love and their responsibility and everything else. They're, they're looking at you like that. So although you might feel powerless in this situation in life, because you're a parent, those children are looking at you and you are their everything. You're everything to these children. Forget what's going on in the world. They don't even understand it. You are their inspiration and their star. You're the person that feeds them. You're the first face they see in the morning. You're the voice they hear that puts a smile on their face. You don't even see them smiling and they laugh when they hear you and sense you. And the love that you feel coming from your child and that goes back to your child, that genuine love that cannot be touched or ruined by anything, even anything that's going on in the world today. So with that said, I know you're feeling weak and you're feeling down, but you've got to look ar around and I think being a mother and being a woman is a blessing and to have that responsibility and to have that it's just a blessing. So just remember that your children are looking to you for everything. And I know it's so, so difficult and it's so easy to say, but you've got to try and be strong for your children because children sense everything. They can sense mummy's down. They can sense everything. They just do. They're like sponges. We don't know what they can pick up, but they are picking up everything, everything, every little nuance, every little voice, every little tone, everything, every look. They, they, they do, they pick that up. So what I'm trying to say is, with the sadness on your heart, 
you just don't want to transfer that to the children and just remember to 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 just be the strongest you can for them and i want to say yeah this isn't just for people who have got children if you're feeling like this it's for everyone you know there's some places going back into lockdown people are scared people are you know people are worried and we know suicide is a problem now so even if you haven't got children you have to find that one thing in your life especially now right find that one thing in your life that gives you that joy gives you that life gives you that spark in your soul that makes you feel alive you need that in your life now if you're feeling like this and i'm telling you now guys if you're feeling like this and you are alone okay if you're alone and you haven't got anyone to reach out to I'm going to say this now, I'm going to be giving out my email address and I'm working from home at the moment and I don't have any problems at all and actually I'd, I'd love to do this. I would love if you need some help, if you want some guidance, if you'd just like somebody to write a note to, talk to, I would love you to reach out to me. And I have had issues before giving out my email in the past so if you send me a comment I will happily give you my email and then delete it so it's not spammed. But you know, I, I, at this point, some people will need this. And it's not just you can, if you're aware of things going in, on in life, you can't just go to your a counsellor and talk about some of this and what is actually worrying you. So guys, I would like to today become your counsellor. If you need some counselling, if you need some help on some issues, if you're having problems being alone, if you're feeling suicidal, if you need somebody to talk to, if you need a person to reach out to, I'm going to be your person because nobody on this earth needs to be alone, especially at this time, and not have anybody to reach out to. And it's not just the people who have a YouTube channel who can talk and then you leave some comments. No, it's got to go deeper than that at this point. So if you'd like some help by email, I would really, really, really like you to comment below and I will give you my email address. If you are struggling, if you are suffering with this, and if you're feeling suicidal, if you're feeling like you just can't take this anymore, please reach out to me and I'll be so happy to help you. Sometimes a little note of encouragement is so helpful. And I wish I had had this as a teenager. If I had had this as a teenager, a word of help, encouragement, support, I don't think I would have tried to commit suicide. Sorry, I knew I'd get emotional. Sorry. Right, so, like I said, drop me a line below. Drop me a, a comment. If you need some help, I'm here. Um, my name's Jackie. And I'll be happy to help you. Peace out, guys.